Hey guys, BJ Mike here. Welcome back to you and me and her and I wish that was here. If you guys didn't know, I've been playing this game and it's it's just a game that I've really been loving. And I, I really think it's it's disappointing that a lot of people uh, haven't stuck with it. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe they want to go buy it on their own, but it's a really cool game. It really does need more support uh, because people don't give it enough credit, I don't think. But if you'd like to watch it on my channel, uh, I'll link the playlist right here. So, you know, if you watched it and just have it continue on, you know, you know, save it, whatever. Whatever you feel like doing. I don't care. I'm not your mother. I plan on this episode being a lot shorter. And the reason why is because if you guys missed it so far, we've already got the one of the first major endings of the game. Uh, nothing crazy did happen. And so I still haven't seen the reason like why people were comparing this to Doki Doki Literature Club. But I did read this uh, review as well. I don't, I don't, I never wanted this to come off to, to say that this is exactly like Doki Doki Literature Club. But everyone, you know, there, there's been quite a lot of comparisons uh, to the game. But I think this review is pretty good. If you go into this expecting DLC, you will be disappointed. Go into it blind if you can, but prepare yourself for an emotional roller coaster like nothing else. Be warned that this game will forever change the way you play visual novels. So we haven't quite got to that point, but what we what I have seen at this point was very intriguing to me. I need to see it. I mean, everyone says a lot of people say it, it pulls off the vibes better than GDLC. I need to find out why. So I'm going to be skipping a lot of the crap we've already seen and going straight to the Aoi route, right? So this may be the last chance for you to turn back. <laughs> and if you really were on the fence of playing this game, I highly suggest you probably play it for yourself, which you can find in the description, guys. Play it and uh, see what the heck's crazy thing's going to happen. But until then, I'm about to find out. Hello, guys. This is future Biju here. I don't want to spoil anything for you, but if you think you know what's going to happen, I'm just going to tell you right now, you don't. You don't know what's about to happen. I understand everything they were saying about the reviews now. So I wanted to do is tell you guys, uh, first of all, I think you're going to want to watch this, especially if you were into DDLC. I'm not comparing them, whatever. I'm just saying that just watch it. That's all I'm going to say. Secondly, I recorded some other endings in this game, but I'm skipping them because the ending is so long. The, the true ending that I wanted to get, the important one that I want to show you is so long. So I may reference that last ending, but don't, don't even, it doesn't even matter because it was essentially the same thing that has happened before, but slightly different. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have my editor skip that. Uh, Gonsi's going to do it. Thank you, Gonsi. Thank you for editing this. And, uh, please smash like. I just really want to see what happens next because I think something else is gonna happen anyway I'm gonna shut up bye guys <laughs> or could you watch the video so but in this route we don't give up on looking for her no matter what but we know where she's at right so it doesn't matter what they say we play the mobile game to find out oh but we actually tell her though there's a game I borrowed from you Tara yeah 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 so so now he's telling <laughs> oh god what happened now he's telling her about it of course she'd be mad about me. Yo, you're mixing up games with reality? No, listen to me. I swear. I'm not playing video games. I'm not playing Fortnite. So she doesn't believe it. She's saying everything's a coincidence, just like she always would be. Miyuki raises her voice. I understand you're worked up right now, but use your head. God isn't real. You you do know that, don't you? Oh, right. Of course. I was trying to use my head. Guess I ended up babbling like a crazy person. You're exhausted now. Go home and get some rest. But I can't sleep. <laughs> I just skipped it. My brain won't stop thinking about it. Oh, so he will. So he's being defiant against her. And this is how we're going to end up with Aoi. Okay. Yeah, play your games, dude. Let's do this. I jumped out of bed and, uh, bed and grabbed my loner phone 20 minutes later. I'm standing in front of the school gates. They're completely locked up right now. They're even a padlock. There's no other way to sneak in. But if the game is true to life, then Aoi's definitely in there. So now we're going to check on her, but in the game. Ah. All right, so we need to sneak into the school. Aoi's here somewhere looking in the dark. I'm strangely confident about this. I sneak down the halls carefully not to make a sound. Bingo. There are puddles of rainwater on the floor. Oh, it is. It's, it's happening exactly like it did, didn't it? There she is again, but this time we're not with Miyuki. Aoi, I know you're in here. <laughs> Quiet. So that's the same. Okay, there she is. So it really did happen in the game. Oh. Aoi doesn't say a word. She refuses to respond. I reach out to take her hand. Let's just go back to my place and... No. She slaps my hand away, but I refuse to go home if you hand it. Don't be like that. That little thing is probably freezing. The kid meows. Go ahead, take Eru then. Aoi's going to disappear. My existence has no purpose. Don't be stupid. Aoi wants you and Miyuki together. That's why Aoi made friends with you. She's trying to say bye-bye. She turns her back on me. Her small frame fades into the shadows. 
The echo of her footsteps grows faint, and then she vanishes into the backstage. Is this really for the best? Owie! No! Go grab her arm! I found myself running after her. I lunge forward and grab her hand. Wait! No! She tries to get away, but I block her path. So she wants us to be, be with Miyuki, but no. Your life does have a purpose. And we already found out last uh, episode that she does want to be with us, right? So that's not a surprise. No, it doesn't. Oh god, she's creepy and cute at the same time. What? I was just a transceiver, a weirdo. I mean, yes, I admit, I think you're weird at first, I completely unpredictable, always alone, and then you randomly tried to blackmail us, but as time passed, I started to worry about you. And I started to enjoy having you around. You're just confused. No, I'm not. Look at me. I've got absolutely nothing going for me. I hate being in the spotlight. My life is boring, uneventful. I prefer to keep it that way. And yet, here I am trespassing on school grounds at night, all for the sake of tracking you down. Oh, I forgot. This is the game. This is not real life, right? But Miyuki. Miyuki doesn't matter right now. Or no, I think it is real life. I'm your friend, remember? Friend? Yes. Is that allowed? Are you sure you want to be my friend? Yes, we're gonna be together. Aw, she jumps into my arms. Thank you so much. Why did she just say that? Life is not a video game. Aw, Shinichi, Aoi wants to stay with you too. Aoi just wants to stay friends with you. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, we can, we'll be friends. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> also, how she got into the school, she uh, decided to basically lockpick the the thing she uses that freaking pin we gave her for everything she used it to mess up the play too is that how you lock the roof door too yep her childlike innocence actually makes that kind of terrifying huh what's up furball you hungry it is still a kitten after all we should get some milk but after the stores are probably closed by now maybe the corner store oh so okay we're gonna get her food in there now just like last time we asked her do you want to crash here tonight it's pretty late, and I know you aren't feeling well at sleeping at, at a manga cafe. To cafe? <laughs> wow. Sleeping at a manga cafe doesn't sound uh, conductive to proper rest. But would that trigger a risky event flag? Sounds like my man wants that. I don't know. What's an event flag? Oh no, she's all bitted, bitted out. Uh oh. Okay, we're getting zappy. Oh. <laughs> well, this was expected. Aoi feels so zappy. I, I got a saxophone in there. Maybe I could lend you. Can Aoi kiss you? If I quickly push her hand away. Why not? Well, because because I said so. Are you feeling weird too? Uh, I'm going to bed. I've got a blanket laid out for you already, so you should rest. Please, do not go near me. I'm the main character, so I'm scared of girls. I can't breathe. My heart's thumping like crazy. It's probably just from bottling up, the, uh, bo bolting up the stairs. We're just friends. That's it. That's it. Right? So why can I still feel her breath on my skin? Ugh. This ain't surprising at all that he wants to be with her. So it's morning time now. Aoi's gonna skip school today, huh? Aoi will stay here and look after Eru. That way you won't have to worry. We can just let her run around the room, uh, the roof while we're in the class. But if someone goes up there, no one's gonna go up there, trust me. But besides, don't you want to patch things up with Miyuki? Let me handle it. I stayed up all night coming up with a plan. Oh yeah, she's going to school now. And she's gonna pass things to Miyuki, but will it work? Oh, there she is. Good morning. Before she arrives at her desk, she shoots us a, a sidelong glance. Ooh, she mad. She don't like that. Instantly, Aoi's face falls. Don't worry, I'll handle it. And Miyuki is not gonna like that. Wait, I thought she had the cat for a second. You okay? It's just my allergies. We're on top of the roof. I'm having a private conversation with Miyuki. Alright, I understand. I didn't realize you had such a ba bad case of gamer brain, too. I don't. Come on, look at them. Oh, she's playing with the cat on the roof. Okay. What are you doing? Where are you going? I point over at Aoi, who's currently playing with Edu. A picture is worth a thousand words, words after all. So we're just like fangirl. We're fanboying over, over her because that's the, what you do when you pick her out. Do you have feelings for her? Oh. Of course not. Lies. Suddenly, I remember the feel of her breath on my skin. She'll never be anything more than a friend to me. You can hear. She can hear you, you know. Oh. My blood runs cold. I quickly look down at Aoi. Look, kitty ears, so cute. <laughs> yeah, she's she really hears you. <laughs> are you glad you are you glad to know she didn't hear you after all? No, that's not Well, whatever. In light of your sincerity, I'll extend an olive branch. You mean it? So he wants to get them friends again. I've been meaning to reach out to her anyway. Thank you. On one condition. I want you to send me all of your Iru pics. <laughs> you got it. She just wants those cats. Promise me. I promise! She tilts her head. I feel like I recognize this background. Oh no, she knows She knows that the cat was at my house! Uh-oh. Wait, that's uh, probably too dark to tell, but I think it's a storage closet at school? I don't know. Miyuki ignores me and calls out to Aoi. 
Where was this? Where was this photo taken? At Shinichi's house? Uh-oh. Don't just tell her. You were at his house yesterday? Yeah, because in the last episode, I, like, she freaked out when, when she realized that she was in her house because she likes us, obviously. So what the heck? Uh, I spent the night. Oh! <laughs> what do you mean you spent the night? We slept in the same house last night. Uh-oh. Don't get it twisted. She slept on the couch, okay? I mean, uh, what was I supposed to do? Let her sleep on the street? Okay, fair point. How did it go, Aoi? Did he try anything? Did you, did you get enough sleep? Couldn't sleep at all. It couldn't. Shinichi's house smelt like him. Makes me restless. Makes my heart pound. And, you and that kept you up all night. It's weird. My body was all zappy. Is Aoi sick? Uh, Miyuki sighs loudly. Allow me to fill you in, Aoi. Those feelings you have, those aren't friendship feelings. It's love. Oh, she just, she's rooting for us now. I didn't expect that. You're in love with Shinichi. Love? I always stares into space. This is different. Oh, no, no, not the... Aoi, uh... Are you still having trouble getting any signal? It just won't go through no matter what. Well, we know what happens when it does get signal. Hey, look, I think you should, you should call it a day. See, Ero's hungry. Can you take care of Ero for me? I mean, sure, I don't mind. We didn't make plans for her to stay overnight, which means I'm gonna be looking for Ero after, uh, by myself anyway. I've been down to pick up the kitten. Just don't overwork yourself, all right? She'll, uh, she'll be fine. Just gotta patch out my bugs. After all, Aoi, we'll never be anything more than a friend to you. Yeah, right. Oh, wait, no, she heard us, what we said earlier. Oh, crap, dang, she hears everything. That was the last time I saw Aoi before she disappeared. All she left behind was a single kitten. It was just so sudden. Oh, wait, no, she disappears again? I guess she wanted to cut ties with us. Miyuki mutters to herself, just when I thought we'd all patch things up, too. Crap, again. Do you have any idea where she might be? Of course not. I don't have a first clue. Oh, so okay, so the difference now is that now he wants to help us find Miyuki and he's not like mad at us. Okay. Apparently Yutora decided to change his clothes for this. Guess he wants to wear his enthusiasm on his sleeve. So what's the plan? Should we figure out something? Or we can wing it! Akebona Yutora, the champion of winging it. And wing it we do. At some point during the search, he uh, gets distracted by a pretty girl on the street and decides to follow her. Then we take a break and hang out at the batting cages. Then we get chased by a random stray dog. Then we try to ask around Aoi, people think we're hitting on them. Then the older lady at the tobacco shop uh, bats her lashes at us. Then we follow our dreams all the way to the adult store. Is, it, is any of this really going to help us find her? Not like, not like you actually want to find her anyway. What? You're glad Muko's gone, aren't you? Of course not. Would you rather set the record straight at the risk of someone getting hurt? Or leave things vague and run away? Hey, you don't know me. Shut up. We spent every day after that just wandering around town. Every day we brainstormed places uh, Aoi might go. Every day I wondered to myself, where are you right now? What are you doing? She was spending her nights at Manga Cafe, but she never explained why she refused to go home. She was avoiding her parents, but she never told me why they made her life so hard. Yeah, we don't know that. She would typically never let her emotions show, but I never knew what made her hide them. And now she's gone. Hey, Eru, uh, you're a transceiver cat, right? Meow. Which means you can sense Aoi's signal, right? Could you take me to her? Bro, what if he does? But he ignores me. I can't pick up signals on my own, and I can't get through to her over the phone. All I can do is search for her the only way I know how. I stare up to the night sky, I think back. The thing she fixated on when, she, we, visit, when we visited Catnip the way she licked her ice cream from Kurakami Electronics. How she used to open her potato chip bags. The flavors she likes best. So we, we we loved her. Just say it, man. Come on. Okay, so I guess we're still looking. Oh, sorry. One second. I pull out my phone. There's an email from Yuki in my inbox. It reads, Are you busy later? Is she Oh, batting cages once again. All right. Like we're going through the same things over and over again. Just in weird, different ways. Oh, the cat's here. What is it? I just heard something. A very familiar meow. Meow! But the cat was supposed to be at our house though, right? Sure enough, it's always kitten uh, meowing from under the bench. How did you get it from my house, you little furball? Meow. Do you want to follow me or something? Meow. Or want me to follow you? Before I can take a single step, Miyuki calls out to me. Her voice is shaking. Yeah, because she's about to tell us that she loves us. Are you leaving? Right in the middle of our conversation? Be gone! Chase after Iru. You've had your chances. Multiple chances. Wow, she really- is the cat really gonna take us over? To the- to her? Ooh, she ain't gonna like that. Fine. 
But in exchange, you better hear me out later. All right, see you then. All right, so where's she at this time? She's not gonna be at the gym. Is she here? The answer is obvious. Oh, but she is back at the school again. Never mind. Maybe she is at the gym. Wait, the roof is unlocked too. Oh crap! No, she's on the roof. Okay, we're something's probably about to happen. Eru darts forward. This is my first time seeing the roof at night. I mean, not really, but I guess. <laughs> You've been with Miyuki, but you just don't know it. Oh, she's not up there. Oh, he's not on top of the roof either. She's not here? She was supposed to be here. Maybe, did he play the game? Maybe he did. <coughs> she looks at the ladder and meows as if to push me forward. But no matter how hard I look, I... Owie? Oh, are you there? I pick up her signal ever so faintly. Hastily, I bolt up the ladder. Oh, she's laying down. I hope she's not dead. <laughs> Is she dead? <laughs> Whoa. There she is sprawled out on the roof. Hey, Owie. I pull her into my arms. She's freezing cold. She's not breathing. Oh. Who is she dialing just now? My battery is dying. Owie's smartphone is lying on the ground beside her. I can see the game version of Owie on screen. Hey, Owie, what's wrong? Answer me. Just when I found you. Ah, I have to do something, but what? Need to recharge. Want to get zap? Oh, no. Oh, mouth to mouth. Okay, yeah, that's what we got to do. All right. Well, let me pucker them lips. I mean, that's the logical thing to do when someone's passed out, right? I guess. I never took any first aid training, so I'm basically just winging it, but I take a deep breath in, breath in and press my lips to hers. A spark of electricity shoots through me. Praying for a miracle, I blow my lung full of air into her. Please wake up, Aoi, please. There's something I haven't told you yet. I don't want it to end like this. Is it working? Oh! I feel something move against my lips. Aoi blinks her eyes. Finally, her chest begins to rise and fall once more. It worked. Bitter, bitter. It's me. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's me! Why are you here? I picked up your transmission. My transmission? Ooh, this is so romantic. My transmission went to you instead of God? Apparently so. My body is all zappy. Did you recharge me? What do you mean? Aoi's battery died. Oh, I see. I'm glad she's conscious, but it's too early to relax just yet. I take out my phone. There's no point in calling an ambulance. Why? Just stay with me. That way Aoi can recharge. Okay, we need to talk to Aoi. Alright. If that's what she wants, I won't say no. I have this feeling like if I don't give her what she wants, she's gonna vanish off. Aoi can feel your electricity. Aoi has, Aoi has wanted to recharge for so long. Yeah, I bet. Feel free to recharge as much as you like. Sure enough, the more we talk, the more she's recovered. So she gets energy from us, literally. You know this is an anime. <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? Why did you ghost us like that? We know why, obviously. This world is a video game, and this route always is a side character. There's a bug in the program, and it can't be patched unless my transmission goes through. So that's why Aoi disappeared. With no explanation, no goodbye? Not even a dear John? Aoi's gone. Once Aoi's gone, you're supposed to forget. That's the rule of this universe. Well, sorry, but I won't. We searched the whole city for you. For me? There's something I really needed to get off my chest. All the time I spent running around, I keep asking myself, why am I looking for her? As it turned out, I wanted to talk about... Oh, 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 oh. Um, okay, we need to pick Aoi herself. We're gonna tell her I love you. I lean back. I really like the time we spent together as a trio. Then that night, you crashed at my place. Suddenly, everything was up and close and personal, and I panicked. I was scared I was gonna destroy our friendship, which is why I said we'd never be anything more than a friend. In hindsight, that was a really dumb thing to say. I'm really sorry. It was total bullcrap anyway. I've done a lot of thinking, and you're not just a friend. No, stop! The world... Oh, God. My route is glitched. The vent flag isn't supposed to trigger. Was your smile that glitched too? No. It's so cheesy, but I, I love it. I love this crap, man. My smile? What about your happiness? Was it all just another glitch? Your status and your tears. You fell in love, pushed us away, and suffered in solitude. I'm not God. I'm not perfect. Laughter, tears, sadness, joy, love, and hate. I want to feel all those things with you. I don't care if I can't be with Miyuki. I just want to be with... Aoi has a favor to ask. I don't know. Oh, bro, she fell on us. Uh, <laughs> not, it's not surprising, you know? All right, so after they play practice saxophone on the roof, uh, is Aoi allowed to feel these things? Is Aoi allowed to love you? Aoi's too weird to be a normal girl, so you'll probably have a hard time being with me. 
Are you sure this is what you want? Yes. Would you love me even all with all my glitches? We all have glitches. I will. I do. You getting married? Ah, uh, they kissed. Wow, they, uh, I feel like I feel like this one is like way different compared to the other one. Yeah, my man, my man. This is the best kiss Aoi's ever had. All right. <laughs> I always wanted you for so long. Aoi loves being glitchy, and Aoi will keep on glitching more and more, glitching like crazy, glitching out of love for you. She whispers and leans in once more. What are your likes, your dislikes, thing you like about video games you play? The only thing I skipped was him saying like, uh, I don't know anything about you and the god you believe in. My god? Aoi looks back up at the sky, her gaze wonders, like she's looking at a world I can't see, another world beyond the stars. You'll tell me, won't you? Her voice is tiny and faint. Yeah, tell me the secrets! I want to freaking know! Cause like, I, we haven't got to that yet. The next morning. Morning! Oh, Hey, man, I found my dreams! <laughs> Tell Yutoro, he'll love it. You found her! Yes, I guess I did. He found her. He found her. Oh, no, this is awkward. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, no. They're gonna fight, aren't they? The blood drains from Aoi's face. This is the first time they've seen each other in quite some time, and Aoi knows Miyuki wasn't happy about her little ghosting act. Miyuki, listen, um... Uh, meet me? Come with me. But what? I said, come with me if you want to live. Oh, God. Instantly, the whole room buzzes with curiosity at this unexpected plot twist. So, yeah, because, like, you don't see the other students, but in, in the world, like, there's a bunch of other people. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm going. I'll go talk to her. You wait here. Besides, you'd be probably safer there. <laughs> you know what this is about, right? Should I? Yesterday, I told you I'd wait for you. Uh, yeah. I waited all night long for hours. I'm sorry. What? Playing saxophone. What happened? Miyuki tightens her grip on the baseball bat, which is pointed directly at my face. Oh god. I offer her a smile. She doesn't return it, not even slightly. God, this is scary. She freaking down to me, girl. Okay, uh, let's see. First, I found Aoi on the school roof. Yes. If I- let me recall. I don't know if I quite recall everything that happened last night. I mean, we- There was music playing, but that's all I remember. Her expression stiffens, and then, uh, is that it? Well, about that. I mean, what do you define as a night, anyway? You know, like, I mean, I always thought nighttime was overrated. I much prefer the morning. You promised me, remember? You promised me you'd hear me out, didn't you? Yes, she's right, I did. I, I, uh, I might as well just tell her. Here I go. I'm gonna tell her the whole truth. I confess my feelings to Aoi. And then? Oh. And nothing. Nothing. What does she mean by we got zappy? Was that just one of her nonsense or... Oh, she was eavesdropping. We had saxophone lessons! I'm telling you! She really wants to learn how to play the freaking saxophone! Uh oh. Sparks fly flying behind my eyelids. For a second, I have no idea what just, what just happened. Then, belatedly, the pain of the blow kicks in. Oh, I get it. Miyuki slapped me. Thought she hit me with a bat for a second. I only told her I fell in love with Aoi. And this is where the, the character is, the main character is it's extremely, like, um, clueless. Hey, wait! What's happening? <laughs> There's the part where the character doesn't know. Uh oh, she. Oh, she's crying. I hate you! She called me a baka. Yes, how you know. Ultimate tsundere. <laughs> so she's gonna be mad at us, and that, that's that's expected, right? I, I think so. I find Aoi staring at me. This is awkward. This is our first lunch without Miyuki. Naturally, that means no fancy homemade lunch either. Oh, now our food sucks. <laughs> she cooked the food. Oh. <laughs> How's your cheek? Oh, it's fine. It's just like a freaking big old. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, no. Oh, hello! We're not just saying things, are we? Am I interrupting? No, of course not. We're waiting for you. I brought a box lunch. Want some? Oh, dude, it's poison. It's poison. Don't freaking eat it. How about Aoi? Aoi can't. Aren't you hungry? Aoi can't eat it. She feels so guilty. Hold it right there! Aoi tries to run, but Miyuki stops her. Where do you think you're going? I know you're hungry. Aoi's glitched. The glitch made me fall in love with Shinichi. 
But Shinichi belongs with you and Aoi was supposed to be your friend, which means Aoi betrayed you. So Aoi can't be friends with you anymore. We aren't friends. What? Or besties. Okay, I mean, this is like, all right, you know, I can, okay. You know, I get everything I want and nothing bad happens, right? Yeah. You and Shinichi are both so important to me. What, she, I'm so glad to see that she has matured. So glad. How can I not want the two of you to be happy? But you, you think I'm lying? All right, then I'll prove it to you. Prove it how? With this. She holds up a box lunch with the good God. Is that four tears? <laughs> After I heard you hook, hooked up, I went home to make all my best dishes. Oh, dude, it's poison. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't report me to the teachers, I'm gay. What does that mean? <laughs> Yuki, can you really forgive everything I always done? You can't help but fall in love with... Uh, oh, you can't help who you fall in love with. Isn't that right, Shinichi? Yeah, sure is. Well, she's being very adult about this. Uh, so she's thanking her. So is this just gonna be happy ever after? That's what I kind of feel like it's gonna happen, right? So once again, we're back to normal. Oh, a secret ingredient she added. I guess so. Dude, I don't like that. I don't like that. So they're just talking about the food. I don't really need to talk about this. Episode's freaking long enough already. All right, so I guess this is like the next day or maybe it's the same day. I don't know. We're watching our Aoi playing with Eru on the on the lower floor or whatever. Apparently, Aoi's trying to teach Eru to match uh, her pose. What is she doing down there? I think she's trying to imitate one of those beckoning cat statues. I'm doing this for my own sake. I want to do this. All right. Yuki's so mature. In fact, she's so self-disciplined, it's a little worrying. I'm sorry about earlier. I was confused and I lashed out and it hurt like heck, you know. I'm really sorry. Okay, maybe this is gonna be happy. I want to live my life outside the limelight and to that end, I need Miki's help. So I appreciate that she's willing to cooperate a lot actually and yet something about it doesn't feel right. It seems like a completely different person now to this morning when she slapped me. Could she really have come around to the idea in just a few short hours? Hey, Shinichi. Do you believe in fate? Yeah, there are so many paths in life. Choose A, choose B. Is it a coincidence that brought you here to, to this moment or were you pulled here by strings of fate? I disagree to me. There are no choices in life. Uh, my old pet theory. What if, what ifs don't exist? Oh, if only I'd done this, if only I picked that. That's just hindsight talking. In reality, I could have never chosen differently. There's no such thing as free will. I don't like that. <laughs> but if you want to call that fate, then sure. Gotcha. She's smiling now. I've known her long enough that I can tell. So to you, even if you started your whole life over again, you still fall in love and end up with the same person. Is that right? Basically, promise me. I don't know where she grabs my hand. Promise me you believe in eternal love. Where did this come from? Promise me. Eternal love. That seems a little extreme. Don't try to get out of this. You're hurting me. Sorry, but despite her apology, she makes an effort to let go. Please, if you promise me this one thing, it'll be all the strength I need. Just this one thing and I'll do anything for you. Promise me that love is eternal. Okay, uh, I gotta promise. I gotta promise or I don't have a choice. I promise? Good, thank you. No matter what happens, always believe what love is that it, love is eternal, okay? Something about the way she worded that bugs me. Uh, where did all that come from all of a sudden? So we're walking home basically. Everything's good so far. I was just thinking you've got a lot more normal lately. Normal? Uh, you know, you get mad when something upsets you. You hum when you're happy, stuff like that. Yeah, we, you were humming just now. Suddenly, Aoi flushes pink. Aoi wasn't humming. Yes, you were. She struggles to think of a counter-argument. Is Aoi getting more glitchy? I don't think it's a bad thing. If anything, it's normal. Besides, you know, we had the whole conversation on the roof that night. You're allowed to get as glitchy as you want. Are you glitching out too? What? No. But Shinichi, you're blushing. Uh, ooh. Okay, so now we're home. Oh, she's cooking for us. Uh, she doesn't know how to cook though. <laughs> oh God. She's clearly trying to cook for me while sim simultaneously trying to hide the fact that she can't read. So she has a cookbook too. Shinichi, the word you're looking for is cumin. It's a spice. Boop, boop. Got it. Teaspoon. Always read it carefully. Ah, <laughs> uh, so it's, you know, it's a good ending. She's trying to cook for us. I think it's super sweet. I love it. Oh, it's burning. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Okay. Together we stare down in silence at the completely blackened stir fry. It's very, very burnt. Maybe I can power through to eat the other half. Lord, help me. Shinichi. This doesn't look too good, does it? Thanks for dinner! Oh, uh, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> How do I describe it? It's got a very refined, bitter flavor to it. Mmm, so good. Are you crying? Oh, these are happy tears, of course. I'm so blessed to eat your home cooking. <laughs> help me! <laughs> awesome. Aoi grabs her fork and shoves a bite of stir-fry into her mouth. Aoi, wait! <laughs> 
She obviously did not like it. With her mouth full of stir fry, she lets out a little muffled shriek as she dashes to the sink. Relatable. Oh, are you okay? It's yucky. No, it isn't. Uh, see, you know, that's, you always gotta do that. You know, if you got a girl that cooks something bad for you, or even a guy, you know, you just gotta be nice sometimes, even when you don't like something, you know? You gotta lie a little bit. Sometimes it's not so bad. Alright, so I guess they're gonna try to find something else to eat. That's all they're saying. Thank you for dinner! Oh, we got some Postmates, I guess. <laughs> Is this one of Miyuki's recipes? You could say that. I wrote up a list of everything I left in my house. Then I emailed that list to Miyuki and asked her if there was anything that I could make with it. Oh, so, oh no, we made for it. Okay. Miyuki's better at me than everything. You don't have to compare yourself to her. Really? You're your own person, so is she. Aoi tilts her head, but Aoi wants to make tasty food for you. If Aoi can't manage that, then we can't get married. M marriage? Is that bad? Well, no. Aoi's too weird to marry. No, that's not it! I just think it's a little early to be thinking about. It's so confusing. Aoi was so touched when you said my food was good. It made me so happy when Aoi's happy. It makes me want to kiss you. It's time for your dessert. Okay, I hope you got some cheesecake because... That sounds great right now. So far, I really like this ending because like everything is fine, honestly, and she doesn't go away. So now we're all—it's kind of a more happier ending than than anything so far. I really thought it would be more crazy, to be honest. Got us some ice cream from Ka Kawakami. Thank you. Now then, let's get going, shall we? Oh uh, wait, did she just drop her? Oh no, it sounded like she dropped something. We enjoy our ice cream. It's so good. We're all friends. All good and good. Oh, so she missed out on- so, so she says, so what if I miss out on the leading role? Okay, so she went through with the play and she didn't do it. Okay, I love that little closure there. Man, this store really goes out with a cat theme. So they're visiting the cat store again. Of course, Miyuki loves cats. Miyuki, do you know something? So we're just, we're just talking and she's like, hey, you should take her on a date sometimes. Like, she's being very- very mature. Almost too mature. I don't have any concrete proof, but when I was talking to the catnip clerk yesterday, they told me Aoi often stops by with a friend. A friend? Is she cheating on me? Granted, the clerk might have mistaken someone else for her, just thought I'd mention it. Maybe she came with some other female friend. I already asked around, she doesn't have any friends in her class at least. There's gotta be some kind of misunderstanding here, I refuse to believe this. I don't want to believe it either, I can't imagine Aoi would do that sort of thing with no explanation. But as your friend, I felt like I should tell you. Thanks. Oh god. Is she trying to ruin us? I think I still trust her. So she's like, she senses that something is wrong. But my feelings just don't add up. Let's get ready for school. I ignore it. I hop off my bed and start my morning routine. I feel far too disgusted and guilty to look her in the eye. I mean, we don't know if she's even done anything yet. Home! I call out, I get no answer. Everything's been totally fine up until now, so why do I feel so rest restless all of a sudden? Hey, you there? Owie? Hey there, Edu. Oh god, did she leave? Where'd she go? I mumbled to myself while I played with Edu. I generally don't feel too comfortable being too public about my relationship, so there's been plenty of days where Aoi and I have left school separately. Thinking back on it, something about it bothers me. Aoi's not part of any clubs or anything, and I somehow doubt that she has any- Oh, we're so- we're, just, we're really suspecting it. Aoi's home! Oh, now he- that's just, like, fur, further, like, solidifies the theory that she could be cheating. Time for your dinner! Welcome home! Where were you? I went to buy milk. Oh, okay. That checks out. Okay. But the closest store is uh, where Yutaro's family store is. Oh, Yutaro. They shouldn't have took her this long. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Shinichi? I said it's nothing. Wait. She stops me in my tracks. Um, Aoi needs to talk to you. Sorry, it'll have to wait. I shake her off and go upstairs. She doesn't try to chase after me. Oh, so we got problems. I stare at the window. The pale moon hangs over the dark canvas of the night sky. It reminds me of the night we consummated our, our, our saxophone lessons. I was so happy then. I couldn't- everything was good! What the heck? Oh, hi, Yutaro. Oh my god, if- if she is cheating, was it- is it him? That's what I want to know. Are things not going well between you guys? We're fine. You sure? What do you want from me? I can feel my voice, uh, going up an octave. Octave? Octave? Octave, yeah. You want to say something to me? Then say it in my face! Well, it's just been- I've been hearing some rumors about Muko sleep, you know, playing the saxophone lessons around. They're just rumors! Oh my god. My voice echoes through the classroom. Oh, everyone's staring. Uh, Aoi looks over at me. Uh, 
Sorry for shouting like that. Nah, it was my bad. Sorry. If I actually would have trusted her, then I wouldn't have felt the need to shout in the first place. We have some major trust issues, okay, and it's all because of what she said. Are you suspicious of Akebonu-kun? What? You think he's trying to take Aoi for himself, is that it? No, he's more interested in... I already shot him down quite some time ago. She's got a point. Oh, God. Who could say? People have the reasons, but he helped me look for her a whole time. Isn't that part of why you suspect him? What? Oh crap, would Miyuki be right? She is totally tearing us apart, I can see through it. I totally can. It's all coming from her anyway, we're just believing her. You don't look so good. Oh, because you don't look fine to me. Here, use this. She hands me tickets to the play. Instead of letting it eat at you, you might as well just do something about it. It might, turn out, it might turn out to be a simple misunderstanding. Rather than stewing in your feelings, you should just ask her out on a date. Maybe you should save the game. What? That way, if you scrub, you can just try again. I'm just gonna save. I actually have not saved once since I've been playing. I've been playing for so long. If only I could save my progress in real life, everything would be so much easier. I could just reload my file and give it another shot. With a power like that, I never need to uh, break in the fourth wall there. Well, I'm gonna get going. Hold on a second. Before I can react, Miyuki walks off leaving me with a ticket. So yeah, she was joking about that, but now, now I wonder if she is or not. Is this, is this Monica? I don't know. Just saying, because like, that would be, I don't know. That I wouldn't expect that. It's I would I would think that uh, Aoi would be more like her if, if there was a character like her, you know? If you mess up, you'll get another chance. With that, she climbs down the ladder. So she spread rumors and now she wants us to go on a date. What is her deal? Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're about to confront her, right? That That's coming. Please trust me. Oh, so she already knew. Trust that Aoi loves you. Trust that these feelings are real. Aoi needs you to believe everything. For the past few days, I've been so afraid of her, but the feeling was probably mutual. Scared of rejection. Yes. Want to come with me? I hold out the tickets to the play. Yeah, it'll be a real actual date this time around. A date? Like a romantic sort of date? Of course, we're boyfriend and girlfriend, aren't we? We are! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Dude, I, yeah, I'm so glad I picked her. Like, I wanted to pick her uh, from the first get-go, but yeah, I couldn't. Okay, so now she's sick. So, like, the game said that she, like, basically, like, fell over, but she just said she needed to be recharged. I didn't think she was actually sick. And now she says she has a fever. Gotta get ready for the date. She writes on the sofa, the hairpin clutched in her hand. Just get some sleep, but it's my birthday next week, you know? And you've been sick a lot lately. You gotta make a full recovery by then, you hear me? Your birthday. That's right. And I won't be very happy if you get if you get better or if you don't get better. So you need to rest up and recover. You're sad when Aoi's sick? Of course. Aoi purses her lips and hesitates for a moment. Aoi will focus on getting better. In exchange, you go you go out fine at the play. I'm staying here. No, absolutely not. Miyuki is waiting for you. Oh my god, is freaking Is she actually causing this to happen? I'm talking about Miyuki. Think about it. She's like she is kind of controlling us right now. She gave you the ticket, so you should go. She like wanted us to she wanted me to go alone or something. That's what I'm thinking. So he's probably gonna go. Okay. Do you know when my birthday is? Not sure you ever told me. May 3rd, 23rd. May 23rd. So you were born before me then. Aoi will teach you my code number. What's a code number? I assume this is just another one of her uh, verbal tics. And yet her expression is steely. God gave me a special phone number for emergencies. If anything happens to me, you can dial this number to bring me back. We were able to dial numbers before. Can I oh my god. What is about to happen? Bring you back from where? Just memorize it, okay? No, hang out. Where, where, where are we going? Nowhere. It's okay. This is just a safety measure. Now memorize this code number. First dial 999 easy, then dial my birthday. Oh, oh. Okay, take a picture of this. Oh, no, it's the long code number. Bro, what's about to happen? That's my code number, okay? First dial 999, and then per punch in Aoi's birthday twice. Oh, that's pretty easy. If you can remember my birthday, you won't forget, so make sure to memorize it. Promise me, okay? Bro, what is about to happen? Are we finally gonna get to what the heck? Yeah, yeah, dude, I'm getting some vibes right now. I'm getting vibes. Aoi wants you to know, Aoi's in love with you. Right, thanks. Her face is flushed bright red. No one's ever said that, me, that to me before. Part of me is thrilled, and yet somehow something seems off about her. As I'm putting my shoes on by the front door, I hear the jingle of a bell, and the next thing I know, Edward is standing in my path. <laughs> hey, come on, settle down, furball. What, you don't want me to go, is that it? Just relax, I'm not abandoning Aoi or anything, okay? <laughs> Edward ignores me. The little guy is completely mad. Normally, he's so well-behaved, too. Uh, take this as a sign, okay. Maybe. Er was a transceiver cat. Uh, Aoi told me about all about the supposed powers of uh, pre-cognition? Pre I don't know that word. I should probably take it all as a grain of salt, but at the same time, Er was the only one who helped me. Uh, she did help me find 
her on the roof. I checked the time on my phone. 30 minutes until the show starts. I feel bad for suspecting her, but admittedly, something has been bothering me about her behavior lately. <laughs> Fine. My instinct completely compels me to take action, so I decide to hide in the bushes and wait. Hide in the bushes? Fact of the matter is, Owie hasn't been acting like, oh, we're just gonna spy on Owie. Her spark was completely gone, and she just sort of survives each day from one moment of the, to the next. I assume she was physically sick, but... The sound of the door opening makes me flinch. Aoi steps outside, her face still flushed. I told her to stay, stay home, but here she is breaking our promise. She gazes down at the kitty hairpin in her hand. Please forgive me. As she whispers, she staggers into the street into her fe a feverish haze. I can still hear Aoi's pain plea ringing in my ears, biting my lip. I come to a decision. I can't overlook this uh, excursion. I climb out of the bushes and follow her. She stumbles like she's walking on clouds, almost as she's following an invisible signal. She steps off the road in the school and heads into the corner store. I knew it! She, must, she maybe just ran out of cold medicine, or maybe everyone needs more milk. That's it, right? Maybe she's just jonesing for some Yabaylis, you know? Or... Oh no... Day. Is it really true? He's my friend. The words sound painfully fake, even to me. My chest fills with suppressed anger and unbearable guilt. Yeah, why would she say all those things if she's just cheating? Uh, are you alright? It's Haru-chan. I forget she works here too. Instantly, my misgivings melt away. She just came to see her. She's not here for you, Taro, at all. She isn't cheating on me! Yeah! Hurry, we have to hurry. Okay. I laugh myself as I watch them go. So what is she th doing though? Oh, so we're just ignoring her now and now we're gonna go to the play? And I'm so ashamed of myself for every doubting Aoi and Yutaro. Of course, I still like to know why Aoi left the house, especially since she did it behind my back. But it's fine, right? <laughs> she, I'm sure she's got a good reason for it, right? I can't rule out the possibility that the two of them are working on a birthday present for me or a surprise. Maybe I shouldn't pretend- maybe I should pretend I didn't see anything. I don't care, I'm still getting bad vibes though. You're late. Yeah, I know. Something came up. Uh, I see Aoi's not with you. Is something going on with her? If Miyuki's in on the surprise, I, then I should probably should, uh, shouldn't cop out to what I saw just now. She's feeling sick today. She's sick? Don't worry. It's nothing serious. Uh, just a minor fever. You know how she's been under the weather lately. You should try calling her. Her phone's always out of service, though. Call your house phone, then. Seriously, you don't need to worry about- Please. The look in her eyes is dead serious. Why is she so insistent about this? Well, I guess it's just one phone call. I take out my cell phone. Is this part of the birthday surprise? Confused, I call my empty house. I know she's not there. No one's going to answer. Uh, after a handful of rings, I end the call. She wasn't doing too well when I last saw her, so she's probably... Yuki? Yeah, I knew it. They're together. I... Oh. <laughs> Got it. Okay, I'll head out there right now. Finish your call? Look like Aoi didn't pick up, huh? She's probably just asleep. What if she's out with someone? What if she uh, flaked out with her date to go to be with someone else? What are you talking about? Come with me. Without another word, Miyuki strides off towards the exit. Wait, what about the play? I told you, I stepped down from the lead role. But you got me these tickets! I know you better than anyone. I know how brave you are, and the most importantly, I know your jealous side. You need to face reality. Oh crap, is she really cheating? Is she a cheater? Are we gonna be on Morty for anime characters? We head back down the road to, to, that I took to get here. Then finally we arrive at Yatsura's family corner store. Listen, to tell you the truth, I stopped by here on my way to the performance just now. I was supposed to be laid up in bed with the fever, but I saw her stumbling out of the house. Oh, so we're telling her what happened. Oh, I know Haru, all right. Yeah? She's, all right, he's the problem. I don't get it. What's wrong with Aoi hanging out with Haru-chan? Wait, did you just say he? That's a guy? No way, no freaking way. Bro, this is even worse than Chihiro. Just then the automatic door slide open. Oh. He never said anything about his sister. And no wonder why Yutaro, oh my God, that is the biggest plot twist ever. No wonder, no wonder why freaking Yutaro always was saying that his brother is so cute, because he was. What? I'm so sorry, dude. Yutaro dashes outside and drops to his knees. Well, what's going on? I never thought Ryujiro was this kind of guy. I just have no excuse. He was covering up. I always had my suspicions, but this just confirms it. 
Oh my god. Ryujiro is Haru-chan. Oh my god, dude. What the heck? That's the prettiest boy I've ever seen. And wearing the skirts and the the cross. It was all a sign. My god. Yutaro has been agonizing over him for days and now Miyuki claims. Oh my god. But Haru-chan doesn't look like a guy at all. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly what we just said. So it was just a costume? Because yeah, yeah, think about it, we only saw her in the play and at work. So it was only just a costume. It was never, she would never had a school uniform. He was wearing a girl's uniform when we first met, so I must have just assumed, come to think of it, that would explain why she was flustered enough to hide the prop closet. After all, I'd just probably do the same thing if my brother walked in on me cross-dressing. But isn't his name Ryujiro? Why did he go by Haru? Ever heard of Haru wa Akebono? Of course, it's Spring of the Dawn, that famous quote by Sei Shinogun or whatever. Has it sunk in yet? Haru-chan is a guy. Aoi threw her date with you in, uh, in the trash in order to go see some other man. Ooh. Ooh, this is juicy. Maybe they're working on a birthday surprise for me. I think deep down I knew. Remember when I told you Ryujiro got himself a girlfriend? Oh my freaking god. Oh, he did say that. Oh, I am shook. Thinking back, that was right around the time Mukha started coming by the store. I gotta say, you know, I'm good at figuring out things. I did not figure that out. No way. No way, Jose. And Ryuji is a big fan of visual novels and games and stuff, so they had a lot of intense conversations. Shinichi, pull yourself together. Aoi lied to you and broke off your date plans in order to be with another guy. That's all we know for sure. We don't have proof that she's actually cheating. Cheating? My sight goes fuzzy. Maybe the rumors were right. She tricked me, betrayed me, and now she's with another guy. Is she really lying? This can't be real. Your feelings can wait until after you learn the truth. Let's go. Dang, that's some ultimate despair. I walk down the road. Ryujiro is not answering his phone, so this is the only place I can think of to check. He shares an apartment with one of the his model friends. It's their dressing room or whatever. Here? His friend is at the height of popularity, apparently. Then Yutara stops in the front door. Apartment 804. You take the lead from here. The door key dangles from his fingers. Listen very carefully, Shinichi. It's not too late. We can still turn back. No. No. I wanted to believe in Aoi. Her words. Her tears. Heck, I'm still desperate to believe her now, but Miyuki's right. I'm a jealous guy. This is how to catch a cheater, man. I take the key from Yutaro. It's cold and heavy and dings into my skin. Oh, it's got to be birthday. I hope it's a birthday thing. Well, I, I don't know what I hope for. But there's no turning back now. No matter what waits uh, for me beyond this door, whether or not I can accept the reality I find there, Pinning all the hopes and fears on the key, I stiffen into the locks. Quietly, slowly, I turn to the key. I turn the key. Okay, we're going in. We walk silently into the apartment. That thing is clean! The apartment is empty. With the high-end furnishings, I can't possibly imagine an ordinary high schooler living here. But either way, no one's here. Nobody's in the bathroom, nobody hiding in the tub, and no one uh, by the doors either. So they didn't come here. No, they definitely did. The tub is wet and the water from the faucet is still warm. Rijo left the corner store with Aoi. Then at some point afterwards, someone took a shower here. That's just circumstantial, circumstance, circumstantial evidence. True, as of right now, we don't have any concrete proof. You throw is it cool if I poke around? Whatever you want to do, buddy. I nod silently. Investigation time. <laughs> this game turns into Rampa. Uh-oh, Miyuki. Miyuki jumps back and I catch her in my arms. What's wrong? In there. Miyuki points at a trash can besides the bed. Whatever's in there is enough to make her legs give out, apparently. I feel my vision grows fuzzy. If only I could just pass out instead. Go ahead. With Miyuki in my arms, my hands are a little full. And my seed Yutaro slowly approaches the trash can and he groans. What is it? Oh, I know what's in there. Yep. Condors. The famous hockey team. Or or bird. Or bird. You get the point, guys. Oh no. I knew it! Actually I did it. I did not know this, but crap. The package has been opened, but it's unused. It's this the nail of the coffin right there, man. She needs to hang in there! With her composure restored, this time Miyuki wraps her arms around me. It's too early to give up yet! I mean, we don't have any proof, you know? Aoi was definitely here. I slowly reach down to grab the thing I stepped on. My fingers are numb, trembling. I can barely even pick it up. Aoi is cheating on me. Oh, the pin! Holy crap! Oh! Oh my god. Why 
question? What the heck is this? Is there anything you want real bad? What do you want? What is the flashback? Anything you really like to get as a gift? Like when you gave me this hairpin. Why is she asking me this? She's a skis bag. Howie wants to know more about you. Uh-huh. There's gotta be something you want. A joke answer comes to mind. Someone who will love me forever, I guess. Howie blushes faintly. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's go with that then. She pauses and then tilts her head. Is there anything else? Like I said, it's hard to think of anything when you put me on the spot. Like if I asked you what you want. Shinichi! Oh, of course. Okay. Okay, whatever. You're cheating on me. My pocket vibrates. Uh, sorry. I push her away hastily to take out my phone. It's an email from Miyuki. And if Aoi knew what it said, everything would come crashing down. Shinichi? Sorry, Miyuki wants to see me. What about your gift? Just get me whatever. Give me something you'd like. Something Aoi would like? Anyway, see ya. What is happening? The instant the door closes, my nausea overwhelms me. Oh my god, this was the next day? We actually... We didn't confront her? We're just putting on an act. I thought that was a flashback. I just assumed. So he was actually with her. Shinichi, you okay? Miyuki must have been watching the whole time. She gently rubs my back. Sorry about that. Whenever she touches me, I just get so. The memory of her smile threatens to make me puke all over again. But she put her arms around me and made my skin crawl. After all, I know what she did with those hands. She used them to touch some other guy. Just take it easy, okay? Thanks. Yuki consoles me and even cleans up the mess I made. So I got your email. What did you want to talk about? Did you find out how she got another one of these? I pull the kitty hairpin out of my pocket. This is proof that she betrayed me. And yet somehow she has a near identical pin in her possession. I confirmed it with catnip. These pins are handmade and one of a kind. And Aoi showed up to buy one in the same day uh, they were socked. That settles it. I bite my nausea, but... Okay, I made up my mind. You know that you th you know the idea you had? Let's do it. What idea? What idea? They're gonna catch her red freaking handed? Aoi is a romance option. Just a 2D character. No soul, no substance, no nothing. But then you came along and you gave me everything. Bro, the things we did. So much saxophone playing. It's... It, those lessons, I could have charged so much for those lessons. I'm just saying. The blindfold falls from my eyes before she, before me sits a candlelit cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, DSGG. Okay, they're singing happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Bro, how are you going to have a birthday with these feelings? Oh, uh, thank you for congratulating me! How old are you now? I forget. Same as you, genius. You're legally obligated to be at least 18. <laughs> uh, that's a funny little reference there. Happy birthday, Shinichi! Well, look at the size of that thing. Miyuki has me a giant bouquet of flowers. I could smell the lilies from here. She's been putting quite a few things in place for me, and I hadn't realized she prepared such a thoughtful gift. She's shaping me up. This is shaping up to be one heck of a birthday party. Wrestling with my emotions, I forced myself to speak. You know, my girlfriend's cheating on me, but thanks, everyone. Thanks. Uh, don't think it's just yet. Yeah, now then, it's time for your presents. Who should go first? How about you, Aoi? Got it. Bro, they're gonna like... Ooh, what's gonna happen right now? They're gonna catch her red-handed? She shoots her hand up in the air and then dashes out into the hall. She returns dragging a very large, heavy box. Though she pulls with all her might, the box barely inches forward. Uh, maybe I should... No help needed. This is my gift to... Shit! Whoopsie. Uh, Aoi, you okay? Aoi messed up. The box opened, spilling its contents. Ya Baileys? It's healthy! That's your birthday present? Aoi walks to the kitchen and opens the fridge. It's tomato paradise! Figures, what did you do with all the stuff that was in there? She only bought a, like, a... She went, like, Mr. Beast on the tomato juice and bought it all, I guess. Excuse me. This is what Aoi likes. Oh my god, I didn't mean it literally. Do you like it? Yeah, thanks. Looks like I'll be getting plenty of vitamins from here on out. You're gonna make yourself sick drinking all that. Guess I better keep making lunches for you. <laughs> Homemade lunches? He's so mad at us because we've been eating them. Okay, so this is all an act though. What the heck? Hang in there, Yutaro-kun. Sone Senpai pities me. That's strange. I understand. Why does her object pity make my dreams swell so? Maybe you're a masochist. Yeah, I think he is. Now then, that's enough messing around. Miki whirls around, her long hair swaying behind her. Let's get down to business. 
Down to business. That's the code phrase. You throw it tenses up. I try to keep a straight face. Oh. Guess it's my turn, huh? Haha! Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday! Stanley Yutaro holds out his gift, a DVD. Yep, it's an ultra rare special edition. It better not be uncensored. We can get in trouble with the cops. Yutaro laughs awkwardly. Aoi doesn't seem to notice though. Can we see what's on it? Oh. Is it like a DVD of her cheating? Sure, I'll just uh, put it in the player for you. We can all watch it while we eat our cake. Bro, this is about to be awkward. Got it! Oh, we raised her hand to the ceiling. What about Miyuki's gift? Huh, me? Oh, let's see. I think I'll save mine for last. For last? Just then the doorbell rings. Oh, he's here. I'll go get him. <gasps> did, he, did he invite the brother? <sighs> we invited one more person. Oh my god, this is gonna be the ultimate revenge. This is like the equivalent to when you see those freaking cheater videos of like the guy be like, hey, you wanna date me? And then he gets into, and then the girl says, nah, uh, you're a loser. And then he gets into a Lamborghini and she's like, I changed my mind. It's, it reminds me of that. That doesn't really apply, but you know, I'm so into this right now. You know, Yotaro said he got himself a girlfriend? An imaginary girlfriend? Of course, I thought so anyway. So I told him to invite her and she's real? Sorry, I'm late. Huh? Aoi freezes, but I'm not surprised. After all, she probably recognizes that voice. Mm, thank you all for waiting! Allow me to introduce my girlfriend, Haru! Uh... Nice to meet everyone. My name is Haru, thanks for inviting me. Haru, uh, Rijiru whispers feebly. Yutara's brother. Miyuki's fellow thespian. What does that mean? Aoi's secret paramour. Uh-oh. The tension hangs in the air. Hmm. Aoi, do you... Do you... Do you know her? No! Uh, well, that's funny. Wasn't she the one who helped you pick out Edward's milk at the corner store? Yeah, but that's all. Now, now, that's not what the, the small details. Why don't we all have some cake? The five of us sit around the table and eat our cake. The most awkward slice of cake ever. Aoi ends up seated next to Ryujiro. Nobody says a word. Bit by bit, the cake disappears. Aoi still seems panicked. She keeps glancing all around the room. I can barely suppress the, rurge, the rush of glee. Um... Happy birthday. Unable to bear the tension in the room, Ryujiro stands up from his chair. We told him to rehearse his line in advance, but his voice shakes so badly. I find myself wondering how he made it to the theater club at all. We told him to reverse to rehearse it? Here's my gift to you. Ryujiro hands me a small box. I take it without saying thank you. Then I open it slowly to uh, really make her sweat. Whoa! This is a hairpin I gave Aoi! Aoi starts digging around her pocket. But the one you gave me is right- You dropped it in my room. Oh. Aoi's expression stiffens. Her eyes are wide like someone just shoved her off a cliff. This is the exact look I wanted to see on her face. But we're just only getting started. That's right. I thought it was a handmade one of a kind. No, Aoi would never drop it. It's a gift from, from you. Aoi always takes good care of it. You're lying, aren't you? Miyuki, Aoi would never- I spoke to the clerk at the catnip. At catnip. It's what it's called, okay? The day of the performance. You went to the store flushed with fever and we bought the same hairpin. You lost it, so you needed a replacement. Isn't that right? Aoi never did that! Oh, and the clerk also told me. You go here a lot with Haru-chan, don't you? Well, but... Now's your chance to apologize. Miyuki's using her friendly advice tone of voice. The tsundere tone. <laughs> if you come clean, I'm sure Shinichi will forgive you. But Aoi isn't lying. This is my treasure. Aoi would never lose it. Then you admit it. You were there at last. You went into Haru-chan's room, yes? Well... Her voice is barely a whisper. Her lips tremble and she falls silent. Yutaro? On it. Yutaro's gift is sitting on the dish tray. Ooh, it's freaking evidence. <laughs> oh! Security camera footage from the corner store. This uh, store is dimly lit and devoid of any other customers. Behind the counter, Ryujiro and Aoi uh, share a tender embrace. This can't be happening. It shows Ryujiro and Aoi kissing. Oh, well, they're not kissing there, but okay, over and over. 
found this in our store security cameras. Tell me, Owie. Apparently, I'm quite the jealous monster. As I fight the urge to smash the TV, I force myself to speak calmly. We're boyfriend and girlfriend, aren't we? So why did you kiss him? <sighs> You're my girlfriend, aren't you? You told me to believe in you, isn't that right? And you cried and everything. What was that, anyway? Just an act? Shinichi. I tried really hard. I tried to accept you. I tried to trust you. But how did you feel about me? What was on your mind when you were kissing him? Aoi oh, loves you. Aoi oh, loves you so much, that's why- Bullcrap! <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I throw it at her. That's- She doesn't try to dodge. It hits her in the face and falls to her feet. What an incredible tribute. I'm impressed. You love me so much, you freak other guys! It's the condor we found in the trash can! Found it the day of the play, when we snuck into Ryujiro's room! You knew? Everything? I knew Haro was Yutaro's brother. I knew you were all alone in that apartment, but I played dumb. All this time, I acted like everything was fine. I held, back, I held back my feelings and played the part of the happy boyfriend. Being around you made me so sick. I threw up dozens of times. I shouted every time you wanted to have the saxophone lessons. I could have charged so much money for them, but I endured it. I told myself I had to grip my teeth and bear it. Also, so I could shove it in your face right here, right now. My love for Aoi is gone. My rational sense is gone. All, the, all that's left is hate and the thirst for revenge. So I thought, and yet I could still feel a burning anger somewhere deep down inside. So what were you doing? You broke off our date just to go alone with some other guy, right? So what the freak were you doing? I wanted to believe in you. I really did. Why would you betray me like this? I asked you a question, Aoi. Well, it's Aoi's purpose. Say what? God told me to do it. You and your freaking God! Stop, please! Before I can lash out, Ryujiro jumps in between us. Please, just stop. I cooperated with your little charade just like you've asked. This is all my fault. I never should have given him to temptation. So please just let her go. So, did you, did you freak her? You did, right? I told you we didn't! Partway through, Aoi Senpai changed her mind. She said she loved you so much, so then we... You didn't go through with it after you'd already opened it? Exactly. Wow, that's love for you. I'm so touched, I could cry. Oh my god. I'm not buying that bull crap! I slam my fist down at the table, but it's funny. At this point, I can't even feel the pain. Be straight with me. You guys, you guys did it. You guys played saxophone lessons. All those lessons I taught. Ooh, this is insane. I can't believe this game. Holy crap. No one argues. Probably because no one can. This is hilarious. My sides are in orbit. I'm actually crying too. Are these tears of frustration or sadness? Maybe they're happy tears. Oh, she's trying to chase it right now. God, please. Please pick up my signal. Aoi's glitched. Aoi's messed up. Aoi doesn't want a bad ending. Please let me reload my safe out. Please let me try again. Please, God. Why won't you answer me? I snatched the phone from her. Shut the... Mm, shut the front door. The screen displays her mid-call to God. You cheated on me because God told you to? That's such a load of bullcrap. Oh, he broke her phone. I flung her phone to the ground. The screen shattered on impact. She just stares down at it. The only thing I want from her now is... Ooh. I want to pick this, but this is the real answer. Tell me the truth. Look, just be honest with me. Tell me the real reason why you cheated on me. Just help me understand. Can we speak in private? She mumbles quietly. On the surface, she sounds normal, but I can tell she's utterly defeated. Guys? Yeah, please leave. Please leave. You have to believe me! Yes, we went to my room, but I swear I always said I really did leave before anything happened. Honest! I'm pretty sure she never stopped loving you. Uh, Yutaro, Yutaro gently uh, puts a hand on Ryujiro's trembling shoulder. Let's go. Bye. Now it's just me, Aoi, and Miyuki. The seconds tick by. Miyuki? Please. Fine. I'll leave you two alone, but promise me something. Don't do anything crazy. I won't. I made a promise to myself back then. Everyone makes mistakes. I could forgive and forget the first time, but... Mark my words, there better not be a second time. Love is eternal, don't ruin it. What? See you later. Okay, they're gone. Her eyes are like saucers. It's like all of her hopes were crushed. I take a deep breath to steady myself. Then I move into close to Aoi. Please tell me. Why? Aoi is a romance option. God created me as a character in this game. Shut up! 
Before I can stop myself, I scream at her. I'm sick of your freaking game bullcrap. It's the truth. Her gaze is firm. God is real. God is a concept. An, amal an, amalgam an amalgamation of every possible love interest in every possible world. An abstract. Aoi is a manifestation of that god. An avatar pulled from a massive database and optimized to perfectly suit this world with only one objective. To pursue as many protagonists as possible. What? So collect all the event CGs. This Aoi route that you're on also serves as the Shinichi route for God. Once God achieves saxophone with Shinichi, the Shinichi route is complete. Without new CGs, Aoi's entire existence is pointless. My battery will, will run dry and my signal won't reach, which means no saving the game and Aoi will disappear. So Aoi started having Haru-chan's routes. That's why Aoi cheated on you. But this is where we say goodbye. What? She silently turns away and then she walks off. Her uncertain footsteps grow faint. Always lying. Let's pick that. It was all lies, wasn't it? My mouth moves on its own accord. You never loved me. You just wanted CGs. So you cheat on me without a second thought. Just then, she her face twists in misery. Shinichi. Aoi betrayed you. And did all sorts of awful things. Lied, kept secrets. But please believe me about this one thing. Shinichi, you're... You're the first person Aoi ever truly fell for. Aoi, so Aoi was desperate not to lose our memories together. Aoi didn't want to have to start over. How can I discern truth from falsehood? So that's the reason why you cheated on me, huh? Except Aoi couldn't go through with it. Aoi loved you too much. Why did you hide it? Why didn't you just tell me? Because you'd hate me for it? No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. Aoi smiles. She smiles. Aoi is an avatar of God. My m memories are synced to it, so... Aoi has memories from other worlds, from other physical forms. Other worlds? She's been turned into- Aoi's been turned into countless different girls and collected bunches of CGs. So she says she's been with a lot of guys. Uh, I just couldn't quite- yeah. Aoi may take different forms, but Aoi doesn't change. And you're not into girls like that. You'd never be okay with me sleeping around. That's not true. Yes, it is. There are other routes like that. So this game is- so this is game over for me. No! I can feel my voice starting to break. This is my fate. I have to say it. There's no such thing as a game over. No saving, no loading. We only get one life. That's it. But that's why we fall in love so passionately. It is? You can't overwrite your mistakes in real life like you can in a video game, but in exchange, real life lasts way longer. You can start over as many times as you want. Is that true? Can Aoi really start over? I have a decision to make. It'll mean setting aside all my dignity. Oh, is he gonna take her? Okay, he's gonna take her back. Let's stay together. Normally under like under other circumstances. I would I want to save here because I don't know what's gonna happen So I quietly take out my cell phone. Haru. Hi Haru-chan I just got a call from Suzuki senpai. Aoi needs a favor What okay, so I don't know what they're doing. I I'm really confused, but uh, the Haru is it's like audio of Haru confessing to her It's almost like if she was like going to her house, but I'm really confused. I really like you. I'm crazy about you So Haru is confessing. Oh my god So it's just like the same exact thing that she told me whenever you're here with me I knew you were thinking about him, but none of that matters. I'll do anything for you Aoi senpai. What just happened right now? The door shuts silence falls lying there in the dark living room. I open my eyes I can't possibly sleep. I'm so confused what just happened, honestly. I can only assume that he was playing the game on the phone. That's all I could think about, maybe. That's all that was. It's not because I skipped anything. I really just don't know what's happening. God is real. I can't believe it, but I believe her. I must have a bad case of, case of gamer brain. I love Aoi, but Aoi's romance option in a video game. Wait, was everything that just happened, was it part of the game? Oh, so we, okay. So we told Aoi to go with him. It was my only option. I have no other choice. Time to just pass out. So he loved her, but yet he still let her go be with him because that's what she needs to do. Okay. Okay, so forget everything I said about this route. I hate it. I hate this route. I hate it so much. So now we're just okay with her being with other people. What? Oh, I don't like this at all. This is stupid. I do this is I do not like this one at all. This is not a happy ending. What is this crap? Wait, what's Miyuki doing here? Am I hearing things? I thought I heard a voice from somewhere. Just then I heard a thumping sound under the bed. And the next thing I know... She was under the bed?! Oh! Miyuki appears, her eyes red from crying, her expression staring blank. You betrayed me. I what? Wait, right here, I need to go get something. 
Oh my god. So, oh my, I think I know what's happening. What the heck was that about? Shinichi, where are you going? Aoi latches onto me drowsily. Uh, nowhere. Miyuki's just... Miyuki? Are you in love with her? Have you changed your mind about me? Are you going to abandon me? I hope he does! With a little reassurance, Aoi smiles, her mind's still halfway in dreamland. Aoi cares about Miyuki. She's my best friend. But please, right now, just forget about her and fall, fall asleep with me. Aoi starts snoring, her arms still wrapped around mine. Now I get it. This isn't reality. This is just a dream. I must have been dreaming. What was that? Is that the cat? What the? That sounded like Eric just now. I was still sleeping like a baby. I try to get up, but she won't let go of my uh, of arm. I gently pull away, trying not to wake her. Then I heard the sound of footsteps approaching. If Miyuki was under my bed just now, how long was she there? There were some very awkward things that happened. I, that's all I'm saying. And she was there. Okay. I will just say that Ryujiro, uh, Ryujiro, Ryujiro was here and we let them be together. And she was there. But they didn't know that. And we, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, right? So. Oh! What the? In her arms, my birthday bouquet. A long bloody scratch extends across her cheek. She killed the cat? Where's Eru? It's a real shame about him. Oh my god. She smiles like she got a few screws loose. The bouquet falls away like a uh, fra fragrant sh sheath. I don't know what the heck you said. Oh my god. She's packing heat. Inside is a bloodstained metal bat. That's the present she brought? But that's what she- but that's what he gets for getting in my way. He was so cute. Oh well. What What did you do? My shout wakes Aoi. What's wrong with Eru? Here, let me show you. Oh my god. Aoi had spl Splits open? Everything is red. Nothing feels real. I get it. I get it. I get it. Here it is. Here it is. I did okay. I freak- I called it! Well, I think. I don't know. Miyuki's smile floats up behind my eyelids, the look on her face just before she swung the bat. Blood trickles down my forehead and into my eyes. I still need to give you my present, don't I? Here you go. What are you doing? St an indescribable sensation overwhelms my face. A collapse on the top of the bed pinned down my vision. Nothing but crimson. Stop. What are you? Happy birthday to you. Oh my god. I get the reviews now. Oh my god. Is she hitting Aoi again? Stop. Don't hurt her. I reach out to stop her. What the? My arm won't move. Happy birthday to you. Oh god! I feel an impact on my left side. Now my left arm won't move either. Oh, I get it. Happy birthday, dear Shichi. Oh god, it's so scary. My right leg. Happy birthday to you. My left leg. Confused, are we? You're too blinded and numb from the pain, hmm? The person I hit was you, Shinichi. Of course it was. My legs. No, all four of my limbs are broken now. Why are you doing this? Well, I was already dead. No fun in hitting a dead body now, is there? My hands won't move. I can't even wipe the blood from my eyes. You want to see it for yourself, is that it? I'm not sure that's a good idea. It's so bad the rating boards will have a field day. You might have to censor it. Oh wait, I forget. Do you still think the world is real life? What are you talking about? Every nerve in my body is screaming with adrenaline and raw emotion. Bit by bit, the tears well in my eyes and then roll down my cheeks, clearing my vision ever so sl slightly. There I can see something that- Oh god. What is happening? What the actual <laughs> is happening? You're insane. Yeah, but I'm, I'm insane, all right. It'd be weird if I wasn't actually, considering what I just did. Miyuki's expression reminds me of the way Aoi used to look back when we first met her. Her gaze is pointed at me, but she's uh, not really seeing me. Instead, it's like she's looking at some other distant world. 
the moment I found out you abandoned me at the batting cages to go mess with Aoi on the roof. Honestly, I think that was the point I truly lost it. I knew it. It was all a freaking act. It really hurts being betrayed by the one you vowed to love for all eternity. But maybe you know what that feels like now, huh? She's talking like I cheated on her with Aoi. Don't be ridiculous. Sure, I knew she had feelings for me, but that's why I always was so careful to keep my distance, so I changed my mind. I knew Aoi was hiding something big, and I knew you didn't mean to hurt me, so I decided to give you another chance. For what? If I hadn't spread the rumor or dragged you to the corner store, you probably ne would have never noticed that Aoi was uh, with another guy. Thinking back, she's right. Miyuki was always the one who put those doubts in my head. When you found proof of her cheating in that apartment, you vowed to get revenge. Oh, I was so happy I could fly. I helped you plan it all. I was there too to console you. All during the birthday party, I could barely contain myself. It was the most challenging performance I ever had to give. She is an actor. So naturally, anyone with a half brain would want a uh, front row seat in the train wreck, right? I waited by the stairs and listened on the whole thing. When Aoi walked out of the living room, boy, did I ever panic. I dashed right upstairs and hid behind her your bed, so she never left. So she was there to witness what she was what she was doing with uh, Ryuji. I thought this means Shinichi will hate her guts. At last, my dream would come true. At last, we would be together. I believed it right until the moment you walked in the room. So. He walked in the room and essentially embraced the entire thing. Uh, I think you know what I'm talking about, but... I was powerless. All I could do was lie under the bed and pray. I believed in you. I believed that in the end, you would choose me. But in the meantime, all you can do was listen to idiots bumping uglies for hour on end. Don't tell me you loved her. But my prayers fell on deaf ears. So what? Was I chopped liver? What kind of idiot was I uh, silently weeping tears of joy in the hopes that we'd finally be together? So she thought that we would not be with her. She thought for sure that was it. But yet we... Oh my god. The person who promised to love me forever was betraying me, directly overheard. Could you stay sane after that? Could you? My body refuses to move. After all, oh, at all, no one's coming to save me. I can't think of any way out of this. I look back at Aoi's lifeless body. I don't know what to do. I don't understand. Why? Why are you doing this to me? You broke our vows. You're a traitor. Serves you right, don't you think? I'm telling you, I never betrayed you. I'm not talking to you. Oh. Dang. This game, it took a while. But crap. That is, uh... I'm talking... It was us? <laughs> that is some scary crap. I get it. I get what everyone said now. No wonder. Isn't it freaking obvious why people compare this to Doki Doki? You were the person who promised me your eternal love in the first route. Oh, you mean the other endings that we did? The game remembered that? And you were the one who made all those choices Shinichi would never have made. Miyuki, who are you talking to? Look, you remember, don't you? After the play, when we pledged our love to one another and shared a kiss, a kiss beneath the starry sky? Oh, wow. Yeah, she remembered that. What's the matter with her? I can't understand a, thing, a single thing she's saying. You were supposed to be... You were supposed to only ever choose the options that would lead to my route. You had one job, to love me forever and ever. Do you realize just how hard I tried to keep you out of Aoi's route? Surely you do, right? So why won't you return my feelings? Just say it. You love me more than anyone else. I love you. I guess. I love you. Should I save it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I already saved it once, I guess. I love you. I know it's a little too late, but I can't just lie here and let her kill me. I need to get her to calm down. I would say the same thing, dude. I promise I'll always love you, so please just stop doing this. You were already resigned your you already resigned to your death, so you never bother trying to win brownie points with me now. So she's not talking to him. Me making the choices in the game was actually me. She was looking at me the whole time. Oh my god. Which means you're not the one saying it. No, it was the choice you made, wasn't it? That's why the game is called you me. Oh my god, that is so freaking clever. That is so clever. No wonder why I thought the name was weird. It's you. I'm touched, really touched. That's why it's, that's why it was uppercase. That was why, that is such a, that is such a good freaking, oh my God. Wow. I'm really touched actually, but it's too late. 
You really think I could believe anything you say now? You betrayed me. And now I'm gonna have my revenge. What are you gonna do? Miyuki? She gently sets, uh, gently, sets the tip of her bat right on my, oh. I know you're just a self-insert character, but my heart disagrees. So this is goodbye. Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it like this. Don't do it like this. Just kill him the same way. Wait, please! It's okay, you could just start over. Miyuki looks at me almost bored. Time to patch out those bugs, hmm? Oh. Oh, God! I get it! I get the reviews! What? Save my memories at showtime. Use my mod patch. And push an update for you and me and her. Happy birthday. I did not think a game could pull... Okay, first of all, this game came out first before Doki Doki. I, I gotta uh, reiterate that. But even still, having gone having gone through the entire DDLC and just getting used to that kind of sort of thing, this game did it in such a unique freaking way. It's insane. Life is like a staircase. You just got to keep climbing. Otherwise, if you start to overthink it, you'll have trouble taking it. It's like a different text now. It's like in Windows mode. We're like in Windows mode right now. Yeah, I don't have to read this again. We've already read it, but why is it different? Can I skip? I could skip. What? I can't save or load the game. Click around the menu all you want, but it won't do anything. This isn't a bug, it's a feature. What, a feature to freaking ruin my life? Like, that's your feature? You're real stubborn, aren't you? No matter what you do, it's no use. Will she let me leave the game? What, what, what do I do? Oh, what is this crap down here? What do I what do I do, guys? This is freaking insane. Are you sure Dan Silvato didn't play this game? <laughs> it's so it's so it's so very similar. I mean, it was based off a Reddit post, right? But like, it is very similar. I love both games, but crap. Like, can I really not save it? I really want to like save it. Can I can I not save it? Because I'm scared of skipping. I, I, okay. So, looking at the guide, it seems like there is more to the game. I don't know what co it could possibly be, but I gotta stop there. That was too long, but... Guys, seriously, this was amazing. All right, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, and think about life. All right, bye. <laughs> God. I can't even exit the game! Okay, all right. I give up. I, I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit.